back to my kitchen. So in today's video, I'm going to show you another simple, easy crock pot or slow cooker meal. I found this recipe on Facebook. I've already made it twice and it is so delicious. We love it. It's become a family favorite here in our house and it's only a few ingredients. And the magic of this uh, meal is you can cook it on slow six to eight hours, which is great if you're going to be away from work, away from home at work or if it's like the weekend and you just want to not stand behind the stove all day and you want something quick and easy, you can put it on high for two to three hours. So it's a win-win and it's so good. So I'm going to show you how I make it. It's called creamy chicken, no, crock pot creamy chicken nachos. It's so good. I think you're going to love it. So let me take the camera down, show you the ingredients and show you how I put it together. Here are the ingredients. It calls for two chicken breasts, but I cubed up eight chicken tenderloins. I just went ahead and cut them up in cubes. Two cans of cream of chicken soup, a can of Rotel tomatoes, a can of black beans. We're gonna drain and rinse those and a cup of shredded cheese. And I like to use the Fiesta blend cheese and that's it for your ingredients. So let me get my black beans rinsed and drained and we'll get it mixed up. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with my chicken and pour it in. I'm gonna pour my, my black beans that have been drained and rinsed. My Rotel tomatoes undrained. And then my two cans of cream of chicken soup. And my cup of cheese. And now we're just going to mix all this together. And this is what it should look like all mixed up. So now I'm going to turn my slow cooker on high, put my lid on, and let it cook two to three hours. Now, once this is done, the way I serve it is I serve it over nachos. It says that you can, um, let me see what it says. It says to serve over tortilla chips and garnish with mint cilantro, sour cream, sliced avocados or black olives or whatever you like on your nachos. So what we do is serve it over nachos with sour cream, shredded cheese, green onions. And then if there's anything else that you like, you could put on that. There's really no no wrong way to make this. So, I'm gonna let this cook and I'll be back when it's done to show you how we garnish it. Okay, I just came back in from the garage. Been working all day, so y'all just please pardon my attire. Um, gonna check the food. I've been I've been coming in sporadically and stirring it because it's on high. Just, just what I do, but gonna check it now. Yeah, it's been on for about two and a half hours, so let's see what it looks like. Okay, I get a towel because it's hot. So I'm gonna get this. That's what it looks like. It smells so good, y'all. Looks like it's done, so I'm fixing to fix me a serving of it, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like, and then one of the ways you can eat it is you can just kind of pick up the chips and eat it, or you can just kind of crunch it up, mix it all together, and eat it with a spoon. Your choice, totally, but there it is. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love bringing you meals that I like to make that are really quick and simple and easy. I'm all about easy all about easy, especially if it tastes good. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I would love it if you would hit that little red subscribe button. And if you have Instagram, come follow me on Instagram over there. I like to connect with y'all as well. So until next time, bye y'all.